Today, we've been asked to cover the important points around receptacle outlets installed in islands and peninsulas within dwellings based on the 2020 National Electrical Code, or NEC. And we're going to use NFPA Link to do it. Easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards. Let's get started. So I'm currently at my desktop on NFPA Link and I have the 2020 NEC saved as a favorite. So we're gonna go into that and make our way to section 210.52C, which I know covers island and peninsula receptacle installations. Section 210.52 in general covers dwelling unit receptacle outlets that are 125 volt rated and 15 or 20 amp rated. So that being the case, those are typically most of your receptacles installed within these island and peninsula applications. If we make our way down to C and then two and three, we can see that within two, we have a specific section in 210.52C3 that is dedicated to island and peninsula countertop outlets. So the first rule is that at least one receptacle must be provided for the first nine square feet or fraction thereof of the countertop or work surface. So we're measuring the overall square footage of the countertop or work surface that we're dealing with. And if it's nine square feet or less, we have to install one receptacle. It doesn't matter if it's very small island or up to a nine square foot island, there needs to be at least one receptacle installed in it. Additionally, it requires a receptacle outlet to be provided for every 18 square feet or a fraction thereof. And we'll go into a, uh, a view of this in a second as we make our way through these code changes and move our way into NFPA Direct. So that particular section requires the square footage outlets that are to be installed. Part B goes into stating that at least one receptacle has to be installed within two feet of the outer end of a peninsula countertop or work surface. So here we're talking specifically about peninsulas, which are going to T or L uh, off of a, another countertop and protrude out into the room. In that particular case, within two feet of the end, you have to have at least one receptacle installed. Additional receptacles can be installed and the location can be determined by the installer, designer, or building owner. So those can be chose where they want to put those additional outlets, but at least one has to be installed within two feet of the end. And then when we're measuring that peninsula countertop, we need to go from the connected perpendicular wall. So we're not measuring that from where the countertops intersect. We're going to measure that peninsula the full distance all the way to that perpendicular wall out to the end in order to determine the square footage area of that peninsula countertop. As far as where the receptacles can be located, 210.52C3 gives us some options there. Number one is that the outlet can be installed on or above the countertop work surface, but not more than 20 inches above the countertop or work surface. So in this case, this would be where you could have like an elevated island or peninsula it provides a backsplash where those receptacles could be installed. So it could be installed within that backsplash. Part two says that it can be in the countertop or work surfaces. So there are receptacle outlet assemblies that manufacturers are making now that are listed to be utilized within countertops or work surfaces where you can core that countertop and recess that uh, receptacle outlet assembly within that to provide the receptacle that's needed. So as long as you're using a listed receptacle outlet assembly, uh, then you can do that for part two. Part three permits the receptacle to be installed below the countertop or work surface. But if we're going to do that, it can be installed not more than 12 inches below the countertop or work surface. So it has to be between the countertop itself and 12 inches. It cannot be installed below that. Uh, the other part to that is that the receptacles it, that are installed below the countertop or work surface cannot be installed in a location where the countertop or work surface itself extends more than six inches beyond its support base. So if the, the support base is the cabinet going to the floor, that overhang for that counter cannot be more than six inches. Uh, if it is, you can't install that receptacle in that location. So if we jump over into NFPA Direct, 
which is this icon over here to the left, just under the link symbol. I'm gonna go in there and we can search by a few different criteria, but I know we're in kitchen, so I'm gonna jump right into kitchens as the space that we're dealing with. And you see, we've got a situation created here already for a residential kitchen. And I told you we would get to a view of the island, how those square footages work out with the receptacles. So uh, this hot spot are what we call these little points, but hotspot 10 correlates with this island receptacle. So if we go down to hotspot 10 and select that, we can expand this section. And we've got a nice picture here that gives us a top view of how that square footage would lay out. So in particular here, this island is a three foot short dimension by an eight foot long dimension. So 24 total square feet. And if we remember, we have it broken down here in the bullet points, at least one receptacle must be installed for the first nine square feet or fraction thereof. Well, we have nine square feet in this blue section here, and that would require our first receptacle. But once we extract that nine square feet, we still have an additional 15 square feet for the yellow section, which is this five feet by the three feet depth of the island. So the 15 square feet would fall into this second requirement square footage wise for each additional 18 square feet or fraction thereof, another receptacle would be required. Now we don't get beyond that additional 18 square feet, but if we were to have a big island that was more than 27 square feet total, we would be getting into putting a third receptacle in that location. But this particular island being three foot by eight foot uh, would require two receptacles based on the requirements of the 2020 NEC. So we hope that answered a lot of your questions about island and peninsula receptacles being installed within dwellings. Be sure to visit nfpa.org front slash link and give link a try if you haven't already. As you just saw, link is truly a window to productivity.